Uh, scientists in the United States have uh, said that 2015 is the hottest year on record in terms of uh, global temperatures. And they have also recently said that uh, globally we have now reached one degree of global warming above um, pre-industrial uh, baseline. So this means that uh, climate change and global warming is, is on the move. One of the effects of this is water scarcity in um, drought uh, prone regions such as southern Africa. In, in South Africa currently there are five million South Africans without access to clean drinking water and we face a water crisis. Uh, it has been said that South Africa's problem is a low and unpredictable supply of water um, combined with a very high demand and poor use of the available resources. In the Western Cape within the next 10 years we face a growing gap between the supply and the demand of fresh drinking water. Here at the faculty um, our use of water has increased considerably from uh, about 40,000 kilolitres in 2011 to over 100,000 kilolitres uh, in 2014. So we are part of the, the problem in terms of increasing use of a scarce resource in South Africa. What are we actually doing with the water? A lot of the water that we use on campus is for irrigation and um, previously we used the, the river, the Elsie's Kral, uh, as a source of water for our irrigation system. Unfortunately, the, uh, the pump mechanism is often stolen and the water, as you can see, is somewhat stagnant and probably polluted by industrial sources uh, upriver. Our other options are a borehole, which is on the, on the corner of the sports field. Unfortunately, the water table is, is uh, decreasing and the supply of water from the borehole is unreliable. This means that currently, all water usage on campus is coming from municipal water supplies. The um, number of new residences on campus as well uh, have also increased the use of water. So what does this mean for us? This means that we need to be responsible users of water on this campus to look at ways of increasing water efficiency and to try and find alternative sources of water, particularly for use in irrigation. One of the things that we hope to achieve with the new residence uh, that's being built behind us and the future residence to come is to introduce grey water and rainwater systems. Grey water means that we will reuse the water from the baths, the showers and the washing machines to irrigate the land. And rainwater means that we will store and harvest rainwater during the winter to reuse during the dry summer months. So um, we hope that all of you will think about the amount of water that you're using and ways of improving the use of a very scarce resource.